All right, guys, we're just going to quickly create a schedule of our of our bedroom assignment here, okay? So as you can see right now, the schedule is this, okay? Um, we're looking at the sheet list, floor plan, interior elevation, interior renderings, and cover page, okay? It's not really in order. Uh, let's see what I can do about this. I'm just going to delete this right now say bye-bye. I'm going to make a new one, okay? So I'm um, uh, middle scroll scrolling. So you can see down here, cover page is this drawing here. Uh, floor plan is this one, okay, and it says floor plan 101, cool, interior elevations, all right, there they are, and interior renderings, and these are not really up to date because we actually evolved our project, but regardless, these are uh, renderings, we're good to go, right, so cover page 100, 101, 102, 103, A for architecture, okay, so let's let's make a new sheet, uh, sheet list, okay, now I'm just going to right click and delete this one, say bye-bye, and let's see a couple places we can go and come over here right click right click okay new sheet list nice and easy okay that's one method and I believe there's another one over here I'd view sheet list okay so two methods view uh, click on the little uh, triangle there boom come down here yeah we want to schedule what kind of schedule right click pick select accordingly new sheet list all right there it is new sheet list what do you want I'm gonna scrub all the way to the bottom here Okay, sheet name would be cool. Double click, off it goes, or you press add. Okay, and then sheet number. Yeah, that's good. And you want to be designer. You want to be the designer here. You are a designer as far as I'm concerned. Done. Press OK. And it should come up here. 101. And of course, there's some crazy thing going on with the order of things here. I don't know, right? I've tried to solve this. I haven't been doing that too well with that. Um, let me pause for a second, see if this is going to Okay, at this point, what I've decided to do is actually delete all these sheets quickly. Let me do, if it's not working that way, I'm just going to delete it and bring new sheets back in. Okay, so I'll just do this super fast. Right click, delete. Okay, so I'm just going to come into sheets and I'm going to actually definitely delete the schedule because for some reason it's being awfully cantankerous. Uh, not going, uh, it's not letting me, I guess, uh, move the order of sheets. Okay, sheet list is not letting me. Okay, that's fine. So let's just see what we can do here. Sheets, right click, new sheet. I brought the 11 by 17 before. Cool. And I'm going to open up the plus here. What's 101? I'm going to call it right now. Rename. I'm just going to call it cover. Let's call it project cover. Project cover. Okay. There it is. So right click again, new sheet. And we're going to bring that one in. And what are we going to call this one? Immediately rename. Call it floor plan. Enter. Okay, after that, quickly. Um, we're going to call this one interior elevations. Let's hope this is all going to work. Rename. elevations and the last one will be for now uh, for this little bedroom project we'll just do uh, interior perspectives okay so right click rename again perspectives all right cool so let's see if this is going to work okay let's look at the sheet list aha 101 102 103 104 awesome it's working I'm liking that. Okay, awesome. So we'll come over here. You know how it goes, right, guys? So just come over here, boom, uh, drag it over, left click and drag, bring it over here. There's my title cover, beautiful. Okay, and then we'll take a maybe is this a good one here? Let me just see. Yeah, that's not bad. That's a good one. So this is cool. We've got our first sheet. You guys know how to bring the other. Uh, I'll just do one more thing. I'll just bring my floor plan quickly. I'll let you guys do the rest, okay? Pop this over here. Wait for it. Oui. My floor plan. Is it coming? Yes. Sweet. Okay, I'm just going to uh, arrow down to the left. Actually, let's just kind of align it to the right. Okay, I'm just uh, right-clicking on my right arrow there. Cursor. That looks pretty cool. So it says floor plan. Good enough. There is my floor. Oh, actually, I want the one with the... Uh, on the cover, I want the one with the fireplace. 
So let me just double take a look here. Um, perspective. No. Where are you? Oh, it's fireplace right here. Okay, the time to switch a route here. I know this is going long, guys. My apologies. Let's say bye bye to that one. Let's get the one with the fireplace. Yeah, that's what we want. All right, I think that's pretty cool. And then you guys know how this all works. Uh, you'll just come over here, print um, right here, go to print. All right, and then what we want to do, a couple things is let's see, create a view, select a view and sheets. So come down here, you want sheets, that's okay. Oops, come back. Uh, sheets only, please. Check, check, check. So what Revit will do is to remember that there are four sheets, even though there's nothing on them. Hmm. Let me change this to Adobe PDF. And then uh, what I want, this is the most important part here, combine multiple, okay? So what will happen is Revit will make all four into one document. How cool is that? All right. Uh, to, we're just cracked a 10-minute mark, and it's going to do it. I'm just going to say thank you very much, Valiant Out. If you like what I'm doing, if you like what I'm teaching here, subscribe, please, guys, so I know you're watching my lessons. Bye-bye for now from Valiant Out. Thank you.